This tutorial shows you how to publish a quiz for a learning management system. We'll start here on the iSpring website which shows a list of LMSs that are officially supported. Of course this list is far from comprehensive as there are literally hundreds of LMSs out there that comply with the basic industry standards supported by iSpring. You can submit your own favorite LMS for testing here if you like. Back here in the QuizMaker interface, let's go to Publish, and then select the LMS tab. The quiz will be packaged under this name into this folder here. Select an output format, and make sure you check Zip Output to package the quiz into one convenient zip file for uploading. Now we'll go to the Learning Course tab, and select the e-learning format we're going to publish to. For this demo, I'm going with SCORM 1.2. We've got some extra details about our quiz to report to the LMS when we upload, and I'll choose to report the final status of the quiz as passed failed. Now we'll publish. Here in the quiz preview window, we can select the open folder option to find our SCORM package. Here's a pro tip. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard, right click the file, and click copy as path. This will make it much more convenient to add your quiz to an LMS later. For this tutorial, I'll use SCORM Cloud as my test LMS. You can easily create a trial account from their main page and use up to 100 megabytes of free space to test your quizzes. We'll go over here under Add Content to choose File. Here's my geometry test right here, but if you've already copied your path, you can just paste it here with Control V. And we're ready. Now we'll just wait several seconds for our quiz to upload, and then we can test it out on the SCORM server. Everything looks great! Now you can launch your quiz here to see how it looks online. Plus, SCORM Cloud offers several other cool features to test your content. Click the Launch button to open the quiz. Looks great! I'll just answer one of the questions, and exit the quiz so we can see the result. And there's our completion and success statuses both of which aren't looking so good since I only answered one question. And here's score and total time. Did you like this video? Give it a like, and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.